Hi, it's Gina D with Video Quest Adventure. I'm still here in Yosemite National Park doing my little series on how to shoot good video with your iPhone. Hoping this is going to help you out with your travel videos. Today we're going to talk about vertical video versus horizontal video. This is probably the most important tip you're going to get for shooting travel videos. A lot of people tend to take their iPhone and hold it like this. Seems to be a natural position, I guess, probably because that's how we hold it with our phones. We like to take still photos like that. Um, and that's all right, that's good, you know, you can do that for still photography. But when it comes to shooting videos, you need to turn it horizontally and shoot in landscape mode. The main reason we do that is because that is the format of all film, all video, anything you've seen. You know, we go to the movies, it's this way. Your television, it's, it's horizontal, it's landscape. And that's what the format's set for. If you shoot this way, you're going to have two big black bars on either side of your video. And that's not good because now you're cheating your viewer out of all the beauty of the landscape that you're at, um, especially if you're on a travel video. And I'm here in Yosemite. There's an incredible amount of places to go see and shoot video. Another reason actually is if you look on Facebook, even if you're not posting your videos on YouTube, but I know a lot of people love to share videos on Facebook and I see a ton out there where people are at maybe their kids play or something and they're shooting like this, you know, in this mode. Well, uh, you know, I'm not getting a full feeling of where you're at. I'd like to see the whole stage. And I want to see those two big back wires on each side of the video. So really important, keep your camera like this all times. Of course, you keep it like this to talk on the phone. But when you're shooting video, keep it in horizontal mode. Thanks for watching.